And hello again, everybody. Uh, the Unpro Pro here, and now in this episode, well, we're gonna we're gonna do the the jump thing, but this time we're gonna apply a double jump, and also we're gonna make something. We're gonna make him actually have a falling animation. So on, select the player and select character right, and then click Add Sequence, and then click or type in Fall Right where it says Sequence Name. Make the frame rate 12. It doesn't really matter, but and change the animation to one okay that's him falling and jumping okay now add another sequence name it fall left and make sure uh... go here and select character left and then make it one as well so there's his falling animation slash jumping animation okay now we're gonna do a little modification go to the draw actor and um... well here's where it's gonna get a little bit well, not really complicated, but... Okay. Alright, let's see. Now, um, here, I'll go ahead and edit it in here, and I'll copy and paste everything so you can see it. Okay. If... Okay, well, first create a variable, go to variables, and then go to add, and then name the variable jump. Just name it jump, that doesn't really matter. <coughs> Alright. Then, uh, if jump is not equal to 1... And then you, well, here I'll, then you would uh, do the change animation to character right. Else, if, eh, let's not even use an else. If jump equals equals one, then we're gonna do another change animation. But this time, well, I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Fall right. All right, so y your, so your case one code should look like this. If it actually gets copied this time, uh, get it. Come on, then. All right. So it should look like this. That should be your case one, and I'm gonna go ahead and write the case negative one, and then I'm gonna leave it there for a couple seconds, so you can do that. All right. Okay. Uh, hang on. Well, we're, um, actually, I still need to modify something else too. All right. It won't take much. It's it's not really that confusing. Um, if jump is not equal to one. Oops. All right. I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I did here. Of course, it would do this evilness again. All right, so that's how your um, your case should look. Yeah, your case one should look exactly like this. So go ahead and pause the video so you can get all that the way it's uh, supposed to look. Okay, so now in the character left. Okay, we're gonna kind of do the same thing, but hang on. If jump equals wait, it's not equal to one. Changes the character left. If jump equals equals one, and again, uh, copy that, and then replace character left with fall left. Case sensitive, by the way. Uh, how, well, however you named it up here is how you're supposed to spell it here, or you can just select it from the main thing if you want. Okay, if jump not equal to one. Meaning if uh, he's not jumping, and if oh, I, and I messed up on something too. I'm sorry. Hang on. I'll, I'm sorry. I'm just like really tired. I'll fix it here in a second. If jump equals one, change animation. Fall left. Um. All right. Just what I messed up on is over here in where uh, in the case one at the bottom where it says explanation mark and then equal change that to two equals and change the first one wait no that's right I'm sorry jeez I'm all messed up alright is this right hang on let me test this well it's not gonna be able to be tested right now Ugh. okay this is like really this is an unprofessional episode man jeez okay I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this so your case two or your case negative one I'm sorry 
should look like this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's how it should look. Alrighty. Um, yep, that's exactly how it should look. Alright. Okay, so everything is right. Now, over... Okay. Um, now, underneath everything, you want to add... You want to add this. If collider dot y velocity is greater than uh, one is greater than one point five, um, then yeah, if it's greater than one point five, jump equals one, and that's what you want to do there. Put this up there, and let's see. Hang on. Okay. Yep. Yep. See. Now we got to modify the case zero, and to make them change animation depending. Okay. So, if jump equals one, hang on. Yeah. Okay. If jump equals one, or equals equals actually, you know, two equals. Oops. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm guys. I'm like really credit incredibly tired, but it's okay. It's, I'm still getting. It's, it's working. <laughs> um, if anim index, wait. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Never mind. I know what we need to do now. All right. <laughs> if dir, wait. If jump equals equals one. This is at the very bottom. Yeah, see I just kinda confuse myself for a second. And uh this is gonna make it to where actually no, let's do that at the top. Let's do this at the top. I know I'm like really indecisive. And get rid of the else too right there. Okay. If jump equals equals one and and which I'll copy and paste this here in a second. And and Two and symbols, by the way. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, jump equals one, and anim index equals two, which is uh, stop left. It changes the animation to fall left. Yep. Okay. Change the animation to fall left. If jump equals one and anim index equals three, then it changes to stop right. Or fall right. Sorry. Now let's see if that works. Yep. Alright, cool. Now he starts now he has the falling animation. Alright, so now we got all of that code. Now we want to make it to where when he collides with the ground, he's obviously not jumping anymore. So go to the collider, add a collision, top side of tiles, repeat yes. Uh jump equals zero. Now we're gonna make a little test here. Okay, good. And he's not spazzing when he hits the wall. Okay. Uh, now we're going to actually add the jump button. So, uh, how we want to do that is go to create actor. No. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, go to the player. And whatever jump button you want. So, let's go to key down. And let's make it let's make it X. X to jump. Okay, so um, uh, disable the key. Just disable repeat. And then go to script editor. And then type in collider. Wait, I'm sorry. Okay, you want to do if y velocity is not equal. Wait. Okay, geez, I'm like out of my mind right now. Sorry. Uh, if jump equals zero, two equal signs and zero. Um, jump equals one. Uh, collider dot y velocity equals negative ten. All right. Now, press X, and he'll jump. But now, you know, we want to make it to where, you know, to where he, um, like, he actually changes animation when he, when he does this. All right, so now, go back to the collider, and remember the animation frames. So, click here, you can see it. Zero, one, two, three. So, fall right is four, and fall left is five. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but you'll see what I mean here in a second. So go to your script editor on collision on the collision with the top side. 
and then do if player dot anim index is it capitalized yes um, if player dot anim index equals four yeah if it, if if in other words if the player is falling left then it's going to change his animation to character stop left if player dot anim index equals five which is fall right I mean uh, yeah fall right it's going to change it to stop right Dang it. okay all right so there we go now let's test this out so he's falling and he hits but it's not working why is it not working okay hang on one two three four five yeah right and left hang on something's not right let me huh. all right um I honestly can't possibly like figure out what's going on right now or why it's hold on I'll figure this out give me one second okay guys I think I figured out another way um, one is to make sure the uh, in your first anim index equals equals zero and all that make sure you add anim jump equals equals zero to both of those and then now we're gonna do this uh, okay copy and paste your if jump equals equals one codes the two of those and then paste another one down but makes then this time say zero and zero this time say if anim index is equal to four and then change the, th the other one to five so four and five uh, re replace this here I'll, I'll go ahead and copy it and get it so you can kinda follow along alright your case zero should look not so evil like that hang on I don't know why game editor does this like some kind of bug anyways oh my gosh alright your case zero should look like that go ahead and pause it and uh... so you can get all that alright so now let's test that out alright it's a little backwards <laughs> so um... so okay <laughs> i'm sorry that was like backwards so replace the bottom ones uh... right and left just kinda like switch them out Yep. All right. So there we go. So now your character can now jump. Okay. And uh, you'll notice if you hold X, he doesn't like repeatedly jump. And if you're colliding into a wall, he still collides with it. All right. Phew. Glad we got that done. But now, if you notice, for some reason, you, if you collide into a wall and then jump, he can't move around. So I'll go ahead and show you how to solve that. And that is go all the way to the bottom and add another if statement if jump equals equals one I know there are tons of easier ways of doing this but this is the way I do it and like I don't really know too much other ways but I know it's important to learn them and all but for now we're just gonna do it this way if jump equals equals one mr equals zero ml equals zero so now while you're jumping you can move in any direction see but uh for some reason oh okay I know exactly what's going on now go to the player and change at the bottom right here change 1.5 to 2 okay let's see yep alright all you need to do is change 1.5 to 2 and now as you can see you can jump it's got sliding off the edge here yeah hey alright so yeah now you can jump and yeah it's pretty interesting alright so um, go ahead and change the frame rate how you do that is click config and go to game properties change the frame rate to about 45 wow that's actually a gigantic increase um, maybe too fast oh that's right this episode was also going to cover running wasn't it <laughs> sorry you know what okay let's go back to 30 I'll cover running in the next episode. I apologize for that. Alright guys, so here's jumping. And that's how you do it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. See you next episode. I apologize for any like inconvenience in this episode. And see you later.